We're going to start in a comfortable seat and sit in about the middle of your mat. And take any comfortable cross of your legs. And let your chest lift towards the sky. Let your shoulders relax and let your eyes fall shut if that feels safe for you today. Start to deepen your breath. And take a big breath in. And take a longer breath out. Just start to feel the rhythm of your lungs inflating and deflating. And do that again. Big breath in. And a longer breath out. Now add the quality of the jai prani on the constriction in the back of your throat, breathing in. And still taking that longer exhale out. One more time like that, big breath in. Long exhale out. And staying with your ujjayi breath, inhale, bring your hands behind you, tense your fingertips up on the ground. And lean backwards in space. And slide your left leg forward and bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. And this kind of figure four variation. And then bring your left foot on the ground. The deeper, if you want a deeper variation of this, the more you work your left foot towards your pelvis, the deeper this will be. But don't let your sitting bones lift off the ground. So a seated figure four stretch here. And start to push your hands into the ground to lift your chest up and then reach your chest towards your shin. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can kind of rock right to left and see if there's an area that needs a little bit more attention and then just kind of pause there. And think about squeezing your left thigh towards your chest and pushing your right knee forward. Breathe in. And breathe out. And keep your figure four, but just slide your left leg back into a straight position. And inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, fold over this configuration of your legs. Reach your arms forward towards the left ankle or the left foot. And now here, take some pulses, pulsing your right knee down towards the ground. And then lifting it up, just nice and slowly. And keep clamping the tendons around the outsides of the knees down to clamp the knee closed. So you can kind of feel this activation with the hamstrings, the quadriceps, even your calf muscles will help create a little bit of stability in that knee. Breathe in and fold a little bit more. Exhale. And inhale, slowly come up, hands behind you. And switch legs, right leg forward, cross the left ankle on top, right above the right knee. And bring the right foot forward towards your pelvis. This side may be very different, it certainly is for me. Walk your hands towards your pelvis and push your chest up. Take an inhale and exhale. Start to lift your chest towards your shin. And take some deep breaths here and just notice how this feels. Keep a broad chest. And again, you can go right to left and see if there's an area that needs a little bit more attention than the other. And inhale. And exhale. And lean back first and then slowly let your right leg slide straight. Figure four configuration. Lean forward, lift your chest up, inhale. And exhale, fold over your legs. And reach your hands towards your foot and then take those pulses with the left knee lifting it up and then pushing it down towards the ground and again really thinking about the muscle the muscles the muscles and all of the tendons and ligaments around the knee try to tighten them inhale and exhale and use your belly breathe in reach up and exhale, lean back, uncross your legs. Roll forward to hands and knees and find downward facing dog. Make your way there 
in a way that feels right for the beginning of practice. You can paddle your knees out and do whatever feels right for you today. You can send your heels to the right, to the left, taking some side bends. And then find some stillness. Mm, a few breaths here, just in the still down dog, pushing your thighs back, your hip creases up. Long low back, hands into the ground, more weight into inner palms than outer. And take an inhale. And stay for your exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, bend your knees, look forward. And step your right foot, then your left foot to meet to the top of your mat. Lift your spine up halfway. And then exhale, fold back in. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Reach your chest forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Tone your belly, breathe, and reach all the way up. Look up. And exhale, your hands to heart center, samastitihi. Pause here for a moment. You can let your eyes fall shut and find a bit of stillness, both in your body and in your mind. In my last class, we were talking a little bit about reaching, like the things that we reach for. We hit on a parigraha, the yama, the non-possessiveness, this idea of not clinging, of not grabbing and claiming something as our own, or not even reaching for something that might not be accessible to us at this moment. And this is certainly prevalent in our asana practice when we're reaching for something. We push beyond our means a lot. I've done this so many times and injured myself. And lately I've been reaching for certainty. That's what I was talking about is this I want a definitive answer to things. I need someone to give me an answer, and if I'm not getting it from somebody else, I'll ask the same set of questions to a different person. And certainty just is not in my realm of experience right now, and part of a parigraha is not reaching for that, not claiming certainty as my own, and just accepting the moment. So let's today just accept the poses we go into and the poses that we're are capable of, and let's let that translate to the rest of our life. Take a deep breath in. And sigh it out. Find your ujjayi breath. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach to the sky, look up. And exhale, fold all the way down, fold. Hands touch the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, plant your hands, step to plank. And organize your plank, push your heels back, lift your thighs up. Tone your belly and firm your tailbone in. More weight into the inner palm and the outer grip your mat strongly, like you were trying to scrunch it up underneath your palms. Turn your biceps forward, slide your shoulder blades back, lift your chest, lift your neck, take an inhale. And exhale, lean forward. You have the option to lower the knees, bring your elbows to 90 degrees, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe and back bend. Roll over the toes, push back, downward facing dog. And deep breath in. Long breath out. And breathe in. And breathe it out. Heels lift, inhale. Bend and look forward, exhale. This time left foot, then right foot meet, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, Samastiti, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. And plant your hands, step to plank, exhale. Organize your plank immediately, breathe in. And chaturanga, keep your shoulder blades broad. Upward facing dog, engage your glutes there. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Just finding the rhythm of your breath, the rhythm of your body moving, letting go of what's happening next or what happened before this. Really giving reverence to this moment. Lift your heels, bend and look. You have the option to step or lightly hop to the top of your mat, flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. And hands to heart center, exhale. Again, inhale, reach. A little bit quicker this time. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Option to step or hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Nadho Mukta Downward facing dog, breathe out. 
and find that cadence of breath and movement that is vinyasa. Find this rhythm of kind of energy that we create. And heels lift. Bend your knees, prepare, exhale. Inhale, arrive. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. The hands to heart center. Sink your hips back, bend your knees, arms up, utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Siriya Namaskar B variation. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump back. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Nice, Kate, nice, Jen. Inhale, right leg lifts. Here's the change. Hamstring curl, try to get your right heel to touch your glute. And then think about opening your inner thigh up towards the right and then lift your inner right knee up as high as you can. Really get that external rotation of the hip. Now push your hands down a lot and sink your left heel down. Take an inhale. And exhale, swing your right foot all the way through. Lower your back knee, Anjaneyasana, just for the breath in. And exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, plank. And Chaturanga, exhale. Urdhva, inhale. Nice job, Maria. Beautiful, Aaron. Push back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Hamstring curl first. Open the inner thigh. Lift the inner knee. Really find some foundation there. Take a deep breath in. Lift up higher. And exhale, swing your foot through. Lower your back knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Really open the chest up. There you go. Exhale, plant the hands. Plank pose, breathe in. Chaturanga, exhale. Urdhva, inhale. Nado, exhale. Hold there. I love just taking that moment just to honor that there's a kind of a big difference between those two variations of sun salutations. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, arrive. Flat back. And exhale, fold. Hips back, arms up. Utkatasana, inhale. And exhale, stand. Inhale, lift your right knee to your chest. I'm not going to be mirroring you for this. I'm just telling you. Exhale, open your thigh up to the side. Hamstring curl just like you did. Mm -hmm. And grab the shin and place it where you want the foot. Mm -hmm. Then pause there for a moment. So find your tree pose leg. This is going to be quite, uh, we're going to come back to this shape a lot. There you go. Now, root down through your right arm. So pull your right arm behind the right glute, almost like it's a fist, and push it down towards the ground. And then take your left arm and wrap it around your back and reach either for your right forearm or your right bicep. Mm -hmm. Now, try to turn your left bicep forward and push your right forearm forward. There you go. Nice, everybody. And hold it there. And grip the mat with your left foot. Push right foot into inner left thigh. Left thigh pushes back. Tailbone down. Strong arms. Really try to open that left shoulder. And pull ribs in, lift chest. Take an inhale. Hold it for your exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands through center. Inhale, right knee to chest. Nice, Mary Catherine. Exhale, place the foot down. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, out to the side. Hamstring curl. Grab the shin. Place the foot where you need it to go. And place it where you feel strongest, not necessarily where you think is, you know, the ideal shape. There you go. Now, with your left arm, punch it down behind the left glute. And reach your right arm around and maybe grab your bicep or your forearm. And then really open your right bicep towards the front of your mat. And that should broaden your right collarbone. And then push your left arm forward. So stretch it a little bit more. And try to find that resistance between hand and forearm. And stomp your right foot down. Tone your inner right thigh. And lift your pubic bone up. Pull all the ribs in. Breathe in. Stay there, breathe out. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands through center. Nice, Jamie. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, place the foot down. 
Inhale, right knee lifts. Exhale, right ankle across the left thigh. Sit down, figure four chair. And bring your hands to prayer for this. I like that. Or if you want to take a little bit of those pulses, you can bring your hands to your ankle and knee and kind of push down as long as you keep sinking your hips back. That's it. Now, watch, check this out. Stay in, your, stay in your figure four chair and just watch for a moment. We're going to do this crazy, crazy karate kid thing. Some of you have done this with me before. Arms reach, lift up, right leg spins all the way around like you're moving into half moon pose, and then you land in warrior two. Oh, what's that about? Try it out. Like this karate kid move. Yeah, externally rotate your right leg all the way around, and then land in warrior two. You'll figure that out after the hundredth time you do it. Take a breath in, and really firm your inner thighs towards one another, exhale. Inhale, extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm sweeps under and over, and then immediately loosen, or loosen, lighten the weight in your left forearm, reach your right arm back, turn your right thumb down, and wrap it around for a half bind, so reach for that left inner hip crease, and then broaden your collarbones, twist your right ribs up. If you really want to get frisky, you can reach your left arm forward. Take your breath in. Stay for your breath out. Now inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches back. Hello, left thigh. Exhale, pinwheel your hands down. And step back, take a vinyasa. Or don't. Beautiful, everybody. Immediately back to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Bend and look, exhale. Arrive, flat back, inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, sit back, Utkatasana chair pose. <laughs> then inhale, lift. Exhale, sit back, hip width distance chair pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, a little bit wider than hip width distance chair pose. Inhale, lift. Now bring your feet all the way to the outer edges of the mat. Turn them out. Malasana yoga squat. Hold it for a moment. Lift your chest up. And that's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Use your glutes. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, feet under your hips. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, cross and sit, figure four chair. Now, pause there. You can stay here or you can start to pulse, pushing that knee down. But really think about sinking the hips down, like almost like that left hip were anchored down to the ground and it was just sinking. You get another chance for your karate kid. Did anybody watch that back in the day? I loved, the, I loved those movies. I was pretty convinced Mr. Miyagi was like, going to show up at my door any moment to teach me things. All right, here we go. Arms out, inhale. And lift up first. Left leg turns out. Move slowly like you're coming into half moon. Then bend into the right knee and land your left foot at the back of your mat. Virabhadrasan B, warrior two. Nice, everybody. Those are great transitions. <laughs> Take an inhale. Exhale, Parsvakonasana, ascended side angle, left arm reaches over. Lighten the weight in your right forearm, reach your left arm back, turn your thumb down, bend the elbow and reach your hand for the inside of the right thigh. You don't have to grab it. Open your collarbones, sink into your hips. Now, really stabilize by lifting your inner ankles up, tailbone sinks down, left ribs twist up. Take an inhale. And if you want, again, you can reach your right arm forward, be cray cray. Breathe in, stay, breathe out. Now go into reverse warrior, inhale, reach. And exhale, pinwheel it down. And take your flow. Whew. Feel that thigh burn a little bit. Take a breath in and stay for the exhale. Breathe in, stay, exhale. Now here, try to find figure four down dog with the right ankle across the left thigh. And push into the ground, lift your sitting bones up higher and sink that left heel down. And switch out your legs, left ankle, top of right thigh, 
and sink your right heel down, push your left knee back, push your hands into the ground. Downward facing dog. And inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, arrive, flat back, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, your hands to heart center. All right, here are your options. You can take that tree pose again, or you can start to work into the lotus leg. So those same activations, like tree, the right leg will lift, externally rotate, and you really wanna find those tendons clamping the knee closed. Then you can reach down and try to bring the foot high up to the left hip crease as you can get it. It's up to you. You can try it, and once you get it up to the hip crease, think about folding the knee down. Mm -hmm. And then hold that. If this feels okay, you're welcome to support your foot with your left hand. Now reach your right arm out and turn the thumb down, wrap it around your back. See if you can capture your left forearm. Yeah, and then lift your chest, really lengthen your tailbone down and let the knee point down towards the ground. And then think about the inner thigh lengthening out towards the right. Hold this, take an inhale and stay for your exhale. And inhale, release your bind, reach your arms up. See if you can keep the foot there. Exhale, hands to center. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, foot down. There you go. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, external rotation. Hamstring curl to clamp the knee shut. Try to keep that knee shut. Grab the shin, lift the knee up, place the foot into the hip crease, and then fold the knee down. This side might feel different. My knee's been super tweaky on this side, so I'm not gonna do the same things on this side as on the other side. Now, you can support the foot with the right hand. Reach your left arm out, wrap it around, maybe grab the forearm. There you go. Now, think about lengthening the inner thigh down towards the ground and in a diagonal towards the left. Lengthen your tailbone down, take an inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, reach up again. You can always take those tree pose variations. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, place the foot down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, go through your vinyasa or meet me in downward facing dog. And inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, hamstring curl, open the hip up, find that deep activation in the knee joint. Take a breath in, lift the hip, knee up higher. And exhale, swing your foot through, ground down your back foot. Warrior two of your Bhadrasana B, inhale, come up. And exhale, really find a deep lunge today. So bring your front thigh more parallel to the mat, that's it. But peel the outer edge of your back foot down. Squeeze your heels, lift up through the chest, pull the ribs and arm strong. Take a breath in and sink in for the exhale. One more inhale, extended side angle, you've been here before, exhale. Wrap the arm around, working for that half bind. Or if you'd like, reach your right arm down, bend the elbow for a full bind. Really focus on broad collarbones. Once you have the bind, think about turning your biceps forward. This is a great place for a strap, a belt, a shirt. Take a breath in. Scoop your right glute under, breathe out. Release your bind, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pinwheel your hands down, pause, lift your back heel up. Inhale, reach your right arm up, crescent twist. Really lift up out of that left shoulder. Now look down at your right foot and toe heel it over to the knife edge, or excuse me, to the edge of your mat and turn your right big toe out at about 45 degrees. There you go. And then peel the knee open, come to the knife edge of your back foot and reach towards your back foot. And then inhale, come up, reach forward, feet plant, exhale, knife edge of back feet, reach to the back. Inhale, come back up, all 10 toes face forward, reach forward. And exhale again, sink the hips down, reach. One more time, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, open up, sink. Inhale, regular old crescent lunge twist. Exhale, side plank, left hand down. Step the right leg back. 
You have the option to keep your right foot grounded. You can lower your left knee, whatever feels right. For, find your side plank. Take an inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, plank pose. Nice, everybody. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, Urdhva. Nice, so push back, downward facing dog. You got it. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, curl and open. Really hamstring curl. Lift your left inner knee. Push down into your palms. Grow long through your left side of the body especially. Take an inhale. Exhale, swing it through. Vira B, come up, inhale, you've been here. And find that deep Vira B. There you go. And the deeper it is, the more your back foot's gonna wanna peel up. Don't let that happen. Take an inhale. And stay for your exhale, you can dance. No, I got you, come on. Extended side angle. Now, right arm reaches back, turn the thumb down, wrap it around. Stay there, grab a prop if you want, or take a bind, your choice. If you have the bind nice and firm, think about trying to straighten your right arm, the top arm. Scoop the left glute under, broad collarbones. Take a breath in. Stay for your breath out. Inhale, bring it up, reverse your warrior. And exhale, pinwheel it down, back heel lifts. Inhale, left arm up, twist. Regular twist first. And try to get out of that right shoulder by using your obliques, by lifting your chest more towards the sky. Now look down towards your left toes and toe heel them out. And turn the left toe out at an angle. And take an inhale. And exhale, let the knee fall open, reach back, sink your right hip down. Inhale, all 10 toes turn forward, reach forward. And exhale, turn them out, knife edge of feet, sink down. Inhale, 10 toes turn forward, reach. Two more times. Exhale, reach back, sink. Inhale, reach forward. Nice, everybody. Exhale, sink. Inhale, regular old crescent lunge twist. And exhale, side plank, right hand down. Find your way there. Hold it. And bring weight into the inner palm, turn your bicep forward. Twist your left ribs up. And be light in your legs. Take an inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, vinyasa or not. Nice, Nana. That's it, Detlef. Take a big breath in. Sigh it out. One more time, like that big breath in. Let it go. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Arrive, flat back, inhale. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right. Take it a step further. So you can take tree pose. You can take that half lotus variation of tree pose. Or we'll take that a step further. So right knee up. External rotation. Hamstring curl. Clamp your knees shut. Grab the shin and place it where you want to place it. So you can bring the foot all the way up into the inner hip crease and then fold the knee down. Now, stay here and wrap the right hand around, maybe grab the bicep, or wrap it around, grab a prop, or maybe you wrap it around and grab the actual foot. Yeah? Now, if you feel comfortable here, if your knee is feeling okay, take an inhale and exhale, start to fold over your left leg. Your left hand will come down to the ground. Ardha Bada Padottanasana. And again, think about lengthening your inner thigh out, right inner thigh out, and towards the ground. Breathe in. And stay there, breathe out. If you're folded, left knee bends. And slowly come up. Keep the leg there. That's it, Jen. Nice. Nice, that live. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, right knee into chest. Exhale, place the foot down. Inhale, left knee to chest. 
Exhale, external rotation, clamp the knee shut, and place the foot where it feels comfortable. Again, if this does not feel comfortable on your hip or knee, then don't do it. Take the tree pose variation. You can do all of these poses from there. Option to reach your left arm around, capture the forearm. Maybe you capture the foot for the bind. Take an inhale wherever you landed. Intentionally on the exhale, slowly fold forward. That's it, Jen, beautiful. Nice, Christy. And smile in poses like this because they're always like WTF poses, really. Breathe in. And stay there, breathe out. Right knee bends. See if you can keep your bind and slowly come up. That's it, nice cat. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, place the foot down. Nice, inhale, reach your arms up. Sink back, chair pose, Utkatasan. Now keep the depth of your hips. See if you can bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh while your hips are sinking down. So lift the right knee to chest, external rotation, and then place it down. There you go, that's actively getting into that range of motion a little bit differently. That's it, now sink. Take a breath in, sink more, exhale. Here we go, inhale, arms out. Exhale, sweep that leg all the way around. Bend into the left knee, Vira Badrasan B, warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, warrior two. <laughs> breathe in, and stay there, breathe out. Inhale, bind your hands behind your back. Lift your chest up, turn your right hip forward, exhale, fold to the inside of your left thigh. Humble warrior. And stretch your wrist over your head. Don't collapse all of the weight into your left hip. So try to transfer some weight into that right foot. You can do this by activating your right outer hip, so the top of your pelvis. Take an inhale, listen carefully. Stay rounded. On your exhale, drop your hands to the ground. Lift your left heel off of the mat. Reach your left arm up, crescent twist. Here we are again. And take an inhale. And exhale, slowly walk your right hand a little bit more forward, turn your right bicep forward, and side plank again, Vashisthasana. Now, from here, you have the option to lift your left leg up, turn your left toes up, hamstring curl, clamp the knee closed. With the left hand, maybe place the left foot to the right inner thigh. If that's accessible for you, then lift the hips up. Hold for three, and clamp your fingers down for two, push more for one. If you have the tree pose leg, keep it there. Tree pose plank, inhale. Keep it there, tree pose vinyasa, exhale. Upward facing, open the hip flexors, regular downward facing dog, hello. Heels lift, inhale. Bend and look, exhale. Arrive, flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, sink back, Utkatasan. And from here, see if you can bring left knee to chest, external rotation, and then slide the ankle up so that you're getting a little bit more active range of motion, getting into that mobility versus flexibility. Sink in, take an inhale, and stay for your exhale. Whoo, hello hips. Inhale, arms out, here we go. And play, be playful with it. Be like, wah, virabi, right into it. That's it. <laughs> Whew, inhale, virabi. Exhale, virabi. Breathe in. Stay there, breathe out. Interlace your hands behind your back the opposite way. Inhale, lift your chest. Turn your left hip forward. Exhale, fold to the inside of your right thigh. Humble warrior. And stretch those wrists overhead. That's really what we're focusing on. And again, activate your left outer glute. Take an inhale. And drop the hands to the ground. Lift your left heel for the exhale. Inhale, right arm reaches, twist. You got it. Mm. Look down. Mm. Bring the hand forward just slightly. Bicep turns forward. Again, you can take any of these variations, or you don't have to take them at all. This is not about accomplishing crazy shit. It's about listening to your body and tuning in. So Vashisthasana side plank. Stay there or be playful and try for it. Inhale, the right leg lifts. 
then turn the toes to the sky, then hamstring curl, then grab the shin, place the foot where you would for tree pose, and then lift the hips up. Take an inhale, and stay for your exhale. Almost there, breathe in. Tree pose plank, exhale, and breathe in there. Tree pose vinyasa, really challenging those muscles that keep your leg in that position. Downward facing dog, Woo. Breathe in and sigh it out. We're coming to a seat, so you can either just sit down or if you're feeling frisky, jump through your hands. There you go. Little moment of break in the flow. Left leg stays forward, hug your right knee in. Now, again, if Lotus is killing you, don't take Lotus, take tree pose leg. Or lift the knee up, left hand grabs right foot. Right hand comes to the inside of the right knee. Push it open, clamp it closed. That'll help get your foot closer to the hip crease. Then fold it down, lengthen out through the inner thigh, that's it. Now, reach your right arm out, turn your thumb down, wrap it around. Now maybe you use a prop here, maybe you grab your shirt, maybe you grab that arm again, Maybe you grab the foot. If you have the foot or a prop, inhale, left arm up, chest lifts. Exhale, fold over the legs. Ardha Bada Padma Paschimottanasana. Breathe in and fold, exhale. One more breath in, fold, exhale. And inhale, lift your chest first, look forward. And exhale, release your hands from your feet. Lean back, no hands, knee to chest, leg forward. Really trying to get control of those ranges of motion. Here we go, left knee in, that's it. Right hand grabs left foot. Left hand inside left knee. Push it open, then clamp it closed. Then try to get your foot up as high as you can to the hip crease, and then fold it over, that's it. Left arm reaches out, turn the thumb down, and wrap it around. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you use a prop, maybe you just grab your forearm. Whatever you land in is perfect for you. If you have hold of something, reach your right arm up, inhale, and exhale, fold. Ardha Bada Padma Paschimottanasana. Lotus is hard for the majority of people. It still is not very comfortable for me, especially on this side. And I've done it for years and years. <laughs> breathe in, <laughs> breathe out. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward first. Exhale, release your hands. Again, lean back, try to control the motion, but this time you come into boat pose, inhale. And exhale, cross your ankles, lean forward, plant your hands, jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, arrive, flat back top of your mat. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. And exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, sink it back. And try to keep your hips at that depth, right knee lifts. Try to find that figure four chair without touching your leg. Then hands to prayer, sink it down. Take a breath in. Hips sink, particularly that right hip, exhale. Inhale, arms out, here we go. Exhale, karate kid it back, land the foot. Warrior two, inhale, reach. Sink and exhale. Breathe in. Bind the hands behind you, exhale. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, humble warrior. We're only staying here for the breath in, so breathe in. And exhale, drop your hands. Inhale, heel lifts, left arm up, twist. And exhale, right into it, side plank. And stay there, or inhale, left leg up, toes up, clamp, place the foot for that tree pose. Breathe in. Hold whatever variation you landed on, breathe out. One more breath in. Tree pose plank if you've got it, exhale. Take an inhale there. And exhale, shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, still in tree pose. Ooh. Now downward facing dog, what is that sensation? Heels lift, inhale, come on, sing it, Pat Benatar. Bend and look, exhale. Arrive, flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, sink. Left knee lifts, inhale. Try to do it with no hands. Exhale, figure four chair. Whew, sink it down. Breathe in. Left hip drops, exhale. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, lift, external rotation. Land the foot. Warrior two, breathe in. Open the arms up. And sink and breathe out. You got it. One more inhale. Hands bind the opposite way, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Just stay for the breath in. Hands drop, exhale. Lift the heel. Inhale, right arm up, twist. Now you always can stay here or find your variation of side plank, Vashtasana. Stay there or inhale, right leg up, toes up, clamp, grab, place the foot, lift the hips. Take an inhale and stay for your exhale. One more breath in, get out of that left shoulder. Exhale, tree pose plank if you got it. Take an inhale, tree pose vinyasa. Whoo, that upward facing is a killer. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out, we're coming back to a seat this time. So choose how you wanna make it there. I'm just gonna sit down this time. Then I'm gonna ask you all to watch me, please. So you can take a sip of water. All right. Kasyapasana, super crazy, super hard. This all can be taken with the tree pose leg. So stage one is bring the tree pose leg, work on that, bringing your left hand behind you, and lifting up from there, okay? Now, other variation, find that lotus, find your bind. Now you can find your bind with a, a strap, a shirt, whatever you've got. Stay there, same thing. Left arm back, come to the side hip, drive the knife edge of your heel down, and lift up Kasyapasana. Yeah? Crazy, let's try it. All right, I'm gonna watch you. Lengthen your left leg forward. There you go, and hug your right knee in. Choose where you're going with it. So either if Lotus feels comfortable, you're welcome to take it all in Lotus or take that tree pose leg. That's it. Now reach your right arm out to the side, turn the thumb down, wrap it around. There you go. Maybe you capture the foot, maybe not. Maybe you've got the bind. Now bring your left arm behind you, plant it down. Transfer to the side of your left hip first. And there you go. Now think about planks. Start to drive the knife edge of your ankle down into the ground and then lift your hips, push your left hand down. Kasyapasana, but open that lotus leg. Push it to the back of your mat. Yes, that's it, right there, cat. That's it, Detlev. Yeah, you can fall all over the place. Slowly come down. Nice, Aaron. Beautiful, release your bind, extend your right leg forward. Oh, exhilarating, left knee in, or you're like, I hate this class, it doesn't matter. <laughs> External rotation, clamp to the knee closed, and decide if you're going into tree pose or lotus, there you go. Now reach your left arm out, and turn the thumb down, beautiful, Christy. Wrap it around, that's it, Liz, you got it. Left arm wraps around. Mm -hmm. Now pause there and decide if you wanna keep stay with the bind or not. Bring your right arm behind you. Come to the side hip first. That's where you might lose your bind. Try to hold on to it. Then drive the knife edge of your ankle down. Lift your hips up. Push your right hand down. That's it, that's beautiful, Kat. You got it, Liz. Lift up the hips. That's it, Christina. So good, Aaron. You got it, Nanette. Beautiful, Courtney. And slowly come back down and release your bind. Extend the leg forward, right? It's fun to try new things. Or maybe it's not, maybe you hate it, but you showed up to the wrong class if that's your game. <laughs> Inhale, Navasana. <laughs> Exhale, cross your ankles. Hug your knees in, roll forward, Chaturanga. And upward facing dog, inhale. And push back, downward facing dog. Heels lift, inhale. Bend your knees, look forward, exhale. Arrive to a flat back, inhale. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, reach up. Chair pose with katasana, exhale. Right knee to chest, inhale. Try to get it into the figure four, exhale. And sink the right hip down, breathe in. And stay there, breathe out. Arms out, inhale, here we go. Exhale, lift the chest, spin it around, plant the foot. One breath in, warrior two, inhale. Bind the hands, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. 
and exhale, fold. Stay there, breathe in. Drop the hands, lift the heel, breathe out. Inhale, left arm up, twist. Right into side plank, exhale. You choose, inhale, left leg up. And exhale, clamp, capture the foot. We're just going into the tree pose leg from here. Inhale, lift everything. And from here, right into a chaturanga, exhale with the tree. Upward facing inhale, nice. Downward facing dog, exhale. Last time, heels lift, inhale. Bend and look, exhale. You've got it, step or float, flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Chair pose with katasana, exhale. Left knee to chest, inhale. Try to get it up there, exhale. Sink down, inhale. Breathe out, you got it. Arms out, inhale. Here we go, like a ninja, exhale all the way around. Warrior two, breathe in. Bind, breathe out. Chest lifts, inhale. Fold, exhale. Stay there for the breath in. Drop the hands, exhale. Right arm up, left heel up, inhale. Side plank, exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale, turn it open, clamp, capture. And lift up to your variation. Take a breath in. Right into tree pose, chaturanga, exhale. Upward inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Whoo, deep breath in. And sigh it out. And inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Pause. Decide if you're sitting down or tell yourself you're gonna jump through your hands and just try it, see what it feels like. If you wanna learn that transition, you can come to rocket. Come all the way down to your back. And bring your feet to the ground. Point your knees to the sky. Bring your feet hip-width distance apart. There you go. Now scoot your sitting bones closer to your heels. Mm -hmm. So your heels are almost touching your sitting bones. But don't do it by pulling your feet in. Do it by scooching your booty down. There you go. Now inhale, lift your hips. Lift your spine. Bridge pose. Start to roll your shoulders under you. Maybe bind your hands under you. Lift your sternum towards your chin, your chin up. Take an inhale. Lift your outer hips towards your chest on the exhale. Breathe in. Slowly come down, breathe out. Now you can take bridge pose again, or again, find your sitting bones closer towards your heels. Almost like your flesh of your glutes is touching your heels. And feet about inner hip width distance apart here. Reach your arms up like plank. We're gonna work into wheel. If you don't wanna take wheel, don't take this. Now bend your elbows so that your fingertips kinda of dive underneath your shoulders. Then lift your right shoulder up and work your right hand farther under the right shoulder and place it down. And lift your left shoulder up and work your hand farther under the shoulder and place it down. Now this is gonna be hard to lift up into wheel pose from here. And this is gonna take you into a deeper back bend, so prepare for that. And take an inhale, squeeze your elbows together. Tone your belly a lot, exhale. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, bring the top of your head to the ground. And then inhale, push right into Urdhva Dhanurasana. And lift your outer hips up towards your face. Lift your chest towards your face. And hold. Deep breath in. And slow breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And last breath in. And slowly lift the heels to come down from here. Bend the elbows. Come down, swing your hips from side to side. Take a breath in, slow breath out. Breathe in, and breathe out. And come up to a seat. There you go. Hug your right knee into your chest and cross your right foot over your left thigh. And lean back and maybe you stay here or maybe you bend your left knee and bring your left foot to the outer right hip. 
And bring your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift your left arm up. And exhale, start to twist to the right. Don't hook the elbow yet. Reach the left arm all the way across, like somewhere we're pulling it. And then twist the ribs around and then hook the elbow. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Push your right hand into the ground, broad collarbones. Anything touching the earth, push it down. So that's feet, ankles, hips. Breathe in. Twist, breathe out. Look forward, inhale. And exhale, take a gentle counter twist to the other side, drop your head. Slowly come up. Lean back and swing your left leg forward. Bring your right foot to the inside. Now listen carefully, don't use your hands. Use active range of motion. See if you can get up there. How high can you bring your right foot to the inner left thigh without using your hands? And then place the knee down and then just decide to keep your foot there. Inhale, reach your arms out in a big wide V, lift your chest. And exhale, fold over your left thigh, Janu Shashasana. Nothing's gonna stop us. Think about this idea of non-possessiveness, of not reaching and trying to get a different answer elsewhere as I've been doing. We are in uncertainty and no matter who I ask, they are not going to give me certainty. I've gotta stop clinging to it in order to calm my mind. The fluctuations of my mind stuff is Patanjali, my, my, my homie G would say. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, right hand behind you. Those of you who take my class know that I only come into Janusha Shasana for one reason or two reasons. One, because it's a rocket class, or two, because we're gonna do a big old flash stance. So sweep the arm up, lift your hips, inhale. And exhale, slowly come down. I'm gonna ask that you make the next side a lot gayer than that. Now, right leg forward, hug your left knee in, cross your left foot over the right thigh, and swing your right foot to the left hip. Bring your left hand behind you. And inhale, reach your right arm up. And then reach up and then reach across first. This will help facilitate the twist. Then open your collarbones, twist, and then hook the elbow. Take a breath in. Push anything making contact with the ground down. You'll probably notice a lift of the chest. This is using the ground reaction force to help us. Breathe in. Twist more, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. And exhale all the way around, drop the head. And slowly come up. Extend your right leg forward, left knee hugs in. And again, no hands. Hug your knee in as much as you can. Create that external rotation. See if you can plant the toes first and then peel the foot down. There you go, John Shashasana. Inhale, reach your arms up, big wide V, chest lifts. And exhale, fold over the right side. We reach for these things because we want to feel safe. We want to have knowledge. We want to be wise in our choices and our actions. Sometimes we reach for these things just simply because we want them. But there's a difference between me reaching for a pair of Lululemon tights and me reaching for certainty, right? So there's a depth that is different. So invite yourself to let go of what you think everything should be, to not cling to these ideas, these emotions, and to just be. And inhale, come up. Exhale, left hand behind you. Here we go. I want to see flamboyance. I want to see flamingos. I want to see boas around your neck. Lift it up. Inhale. Oh, that was so good. Slowly come down. Exhale. <laughs> Bring your feet to the mat. And hug your knees into the chest and just round over your knees for a moment. And lift your chest up and bring your feet together, but bring them about two and a half feet in front of your pelvis and let your knees fall open. And grab your ankles with your hands and inhale, lift your chest up, slide your sitting bones back. And then exhale, fold in between your thighs. As if your chest could touch the ground. Or if you want to take it even further, reach the chest more towards your feet. This is more outer hips than inner when your legs are this wide. Not that you needed any more hip opening, but it felt right. Breathe in and slow breath out. 
and inhale, slowly come up. And close your knees like a book with your hands and then slowly roll down to your back and hug your knees into your chest. Make circles with your low back. You can take a pose that would feel really good here, maybe a symmetrical pose like happy baby or plow pose, maybe lengthen the legs up towards the sky or maybe just keep hugging the knees in. Wherever you landed, hug your knees into your chest one more time. And then slide your legs forward. Let your arms reach out, Shavasana position. If there's a position you prefer to take for Shavasana, then take that instead. But take a moment to let your mind Go wherever it needs to, not reaching, not grasping, but just let go of even the clingingness to our minds. We want to control it. We want to say, oh, focus on the breath or inner peace. And that's just not how the world works. So wherever your mind needs to go, just free it to go there. And let the world rise up to meet your skin and catch you, hold you. And rest. I'll guide you out. In today's class, we utilized some active mobility techniques, not using our hands, the karate kid, the knee to chest, figure four, all of these things to gain access to poses in different ways. And sometimes in my practice when I've forced myself, when I've reached out and grabbed my limbs and put them in positions that they weren't ready for, that I wasn't able to actively move through, 
that's when I've gotten hurt. And this is the same when we reach and cling to things mentally, when we emotionally latch on, when we demand something to happen now. Often, we simply get hurt. And deepen your breath and wake your body back up. Stretch everything out. Slowly making your way up to a seat. And take your time. Bringing your hands to Anjali Mudra. Sometimes we just have to learn how to approach things differently so that we don't latch on, so that we don't pull and push and force ourselves into situations or poses or whatever you want to put in the blank that we're not ready for. Uncertainty right now is just not for me because it's not for the world. Like, I'm not going to be the one to get it. <laughs> and I have to not cling. So maybe just for tonight, practice being totally free. Deep breath in. Let it go. Namaste. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Mary Catherine, by the way. Yes, thank you for joining me on your birthday. Everyone killed it.